Hey gang, it's time for another episode of Hoffman's Minerals Log. How is everyone? It's July. Oh man, it's July. How did that happen? It's July 2nd, 2021. I apologize because um, I was kind of scattered this week and I think this is only, I think I missed three out of the five days of this week for the mineral vlog. Um, but you know what? You get what you pay for. You haven't, uh, this is a free vlog and I'm beholden to no one. So bleh. that being said, today's mineral water is it looks like a real dumb one it's this thing and it's kind of a thing it's going around liquid death i was just reading the behind the scenes and it, you know, it looks it looks like some kind of like double ipa you know eight percent alcohol beer that you get at at uh um, you know at where wherever you buy beer you know um but it's not it's water from the Alps. I did a little research. It's from the Austrian Alps. And, uh, you know, it's a big success. Uh, the guy who funded this, he's an ex-Netflix schmo. Um, and uh, Live Nation is one of the backers of this. So this is corporate water. Um, but it might actually be good. The website is very entertaining. They have, like, it's like horror movies. Uh, uh, it's funny, you know, and there's, like, they're, they're about us. It's, you know, it's funny. I, you know, I, I shouldn't diss. Um, I mean, compared to the stuff, you know, I, that all the stuff I normally uh, have on this vlog is very, like, you know, from the spa and, you know, uh, dating back to the ancient uh, Roman times. And this is just, you know, corporate stupidity. But the copy on the side, I'm not going to read it, but it's funny. I mean, it, it, it's all this concept you know you know death metal water because it's funny because water is water you know it's not death metal so is it any good it's gonna taste i it, here's the thing i regularly re, and I, when i mean regularly i all day drink canned not the tall boy regular can seltzer my brand of choice lately has just been Canada Dry. The primary reason is the price. It's pretty damn. I you know my access to a twelve pack of Canada Dry is cheaper than Schweppes, cheaper than Vintage, cheaper not cheaper than the Adirondack one. That is a little bit cheaper, but I don't know for whatever reason I've been drinking Canada Dry a lot for the past few months, and I love it. They're all kind of the same. Vintage I used to be like very pro vintage because it's cool. Like I remember you know it's a New York City area a, a brand. When I was a little kid, it was like the first seltzer I saw was vintage. Lately, I find that their cans can sometimes be a little flat. I think in a side-by-side -side comparison, Canada Dry is a little bit uh, better and cheaper. So screw. You know, Schweppes is fine. They're all fine. They're seltzer. So is this going to be different than a can of Canada Dry seltzer? I'm not going to do a compare and contrast right now because I'd have to go in the other room. But let's just do it. You know, I admire the the premise and all the shtick. The website is funny. You should check it out. They have an Instagram page. They have a tweet, a tweet. They have a tweeter. Here we go. That is a little bit different from Canada Dry Seltzer. Crush your thirst. I should be playing Iron Maiden right now. Hold on. Let me get a little Maiden on. A little, um, maiden or uh, Judas Priest. Maiden. Let's get a little Maiden on here. Maiden's the best, man. Of all, all that heavy metal. The 1998 remastered commercial. Oh, Christ, it's a Snake Eyes. If you survive. They made a remake of the Nicolas Cage, Brian De Palma film, Snake Eyes. Um, oh, it's some action movie. They're jumping. Nicolas Cage was better than you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. As I drink my... Yeah! My death water. Steve Harris. Boom, boom, boom. I have a whole thing about Maiden that's going to blow your mind. 
rock so hard. Let me tell you my theory. You ready for this? When I was a lad, and maybe still today, music was uh, rock music. We, you know, there's, it's it's not so much just the notes, man. It's the 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 extras that had the marketing, the grouping that you're in. So Maiden was for burnout metalheads who were going nowhere and were going to wind up working in the gas station, and Rush was for computer programmers who were dorks and couldn't get laid. Now here's the thing. If you beamed in from another realm and listened to Rush and listened to Maiden, there is more in common there than not in common. They're bass heavy. Listen listen to Steve Harris, man. That's that's Getty Lee could do that. And um, Bruce Dickinson screaming his head off like Getty Lee. So, um, and the friggin', I mean, yeah, all right, the drummer's not Neil Peart. Okay, fine. There's only one Neil Peart. May he rest in peace. Um, but, and, and lyrically, um, different, but also, like, both kind of stupid. Neil Peart's lyrics are brilliant because I love them, but they're asinine. That's why some people hate them. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. And Maiden was the epitome of, like, let's open the encyclopedia up to a random page, throw a finger down, and write a song about that. Alexander the Great! You know, there's a... So, I used to go around saying, Maiden and Rush, the same, man. And get, get the shit kicked out of me by both sides. Get the shit kicked out of me by the Maiden fans. And the Rush fans would, uh, you know, write a computer program to destroy me in the night. All right, man, so that's what's going on. Liquid Death. Let's try it again. It's great. Is this better than Canada Dry Seltzer? Certainly more expensive. It, it has the same amount of bubbles as a classic Canada Seltzer. But um, the flavor is different. It's a little more rounded. For the minerals, it's not super bitter, like Gerald Steiner or some of the others. Um, and it has, and it could just be because I'm drinking it out of a can, it has sort of that full taste that, that you get with the metal. I dig it. I love liquid death. I love murdering my thirst. Hats off to you, uh, CEO of Live Nation and uh, Netflix. Live Nation, man, they they control everything. Live Nation and um, you know Ticketmaster, those guys suck. Ingredients: Mountain water. So there's like a shtick here. A group of teenagers set out for the weekend of drinking water from plastic bottles. They became hunted by an aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls. I mean, the truth of the matter is reducing plastic is a noble aim. And, um, you know, boxed water has never caught on. The cardboard boxed water, you see it once in a while. It, it just doesn't, it's just not right. It doesn't feel right. This feels right. And they have, this is the sparkling. They have a still. I, I would like to try that, actually. You know what? Let's take a note of that. I'm going to go. We've only done one or two still waters on Hoffman's Mineral Vlog. Um, I am going to make a note to try the still, because I would like to see what still water tastes like out of a can. Um, the, the sparkling is good. This is great. Um, yeah, it's good to recycle. I once talked to a guy, um, oh shit, I forget his name. He's a famous guy. He's a director of, um, documentary films, and he makes all these, <laughs> the sky is falling movies. I think he, and so the movie he made was called Pushing Ice. Right, was that what's called Pushing Ice? And he did the one recently with um, the guy from Mad Men about how social media destroys the kids. Pushing Ice? No, that's a book by Alistair Reynolds. What the F? What's his social networking movie? Anyway, some director. I mean, he's like an issue-oriented director who's not exactly subtle in his films, and the movies aren't even really that good, but they're, you know, they're, they get the point across really well. What the F is it called? And he, he's... Uh, so, uh, oh, I'm so bad at my job. 
Uh, the director, Social Dilemma is his new one, right? Okay, here we go. Jeff Orlowski, is that the guy's name? I met this guy. Chasing Ice. I guess he's the guy I met. Chasing Ice, Chasing Coral. He, he's, 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 he's made a living out of telling us that we're doomed. Um, and, you know, he's very, his movies will make you want to put your head in the oven. Anyway, so I was talking to him about recycling because he, you know, he knows all about um, uh, climate change and whatnot. Because, uh, you know, I recycle, man. It's good. And, and, but it's like, sometimes it be a pain in the ass, you know. And, and I said to him, like, what's, like, is recycling bottles and cans, is that really going to, is that is that good? Do I need to stress out when I accidentally, like, something, you find it. Sometimes, like, the peanut butter jar, like, you're cleaning it. It takes forever. And, you, and it's like, oh, I'll just throw the peanut butter jar away. Nobody's going to know. And he was like, yeah, recycling's good. But, like, that's not it. It's like, you know, steel manufacturers and, um, you know, giant heavy industry and uh, the Paris Accord and China. And he was like, don't stress out about your bottles and cans. That's really not what this is all about here, about the melting polar ice caps. So... That put me at ease because I'll do it. I still recycle, but like I don't want to feel horrible when I slip up. My point is, though, liquid death is a can which can be recycled, unlike those bottles, which are, you know, bad. So, and Hoffman's Mineral Vlog is bad, too, because I'm importing water. I mean, this is very American, but although it's from Australia, Austria, excuse me, when I'm importing, like last week, all the crap I brought in from, from all over the world. Uh, so I have to I have to pay it forward somehow. Okay, uh, it's now the weekend. It's now the Fourth of July weekend. Oh yeah, Fourth of July. Eat a hamburger. Eat a hot dog. Oh, with relish. Do you like your hot dogs with ketchup? I do. I'm not a cat. I'm not. I'm like I'm not a dog or a cat person. I like them both. I like mustard on my hot dogs, and I like ketchup. Not together. Let's not get out of control. I like a ketchup on a hot dog. I like relish. I like sauerkraut. I like brown mustard. I like yellow mustard. But, uh, I, you know, hot dogs can make me sick. I don't eat hot dogs that much. That's like the one food. If I have more than one um, in, in like a two-week period, I'll, I'll throw up. I can't do it. And um, uh, uh, kielbasa, ugh, 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 it's disgusting. No offense to my Chicago friends. All right, long episode today, but I think we can all agree that that we enjoyed it. I had a good time. Liquid death. The longer I talk to you, I can delay doing my work. Let's take a look at the paper. I don't want to do my work today. Ugh, do you want to do your work? Hell no. This is the guy. Trump's uh, Sh Schmendrick friend. Look at him. Dope. What is his name again? It's like it's like. What is his name? It's I hate to say it. It's like Howard. Howard. Uh, ah, let's just say it. His name is like Jewy Jewenstein. I, it's, it's it's really not great. I was all excited. I'm like, oh, they got one of Trump's guys. He's going down. He's going to take the Trump organization with him. What's his name? Jewy Jewenstein. Oh boy. Bernie Madoff Part Two. Alan Weisselberg. Oh, if it was Alan Berg. Or Alan Weiss, but Alan Weisselberg? Oy vey. Come on. Ooh, what's this? The train be sinking. Oh, the Yankees. That's a cool image on the back of the Daily News today. But it's about the Yankees, and I don't care. All this devoted to sports every day in the paper. I don't care. I cared for, for four and a half minutes when the Nets were doing well. And I wanted them to succeed, and then they lost. I remember that game where the guy threw the ball and it went into the not basket, and he lost. And now uh, the team that beat them, I guess, is now the champion or something. Who knows? All right. It's the weekend soon, 4th of July. Have one hot dog. Have a great day. Have some death. Have some liquid death. I'll get it to a store near you.